Very good. I have translated the runes on this scroll. You must find the cairn stones and touch them in the order that I have written. Necromancer. I hope I'd never have to lay my eyes on one of your kind again. The recent troubles in this area have brought out all kinds, I see. Nevertheless, your money's good. A spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need or whatever quest you might undertake. And uh, don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. Tristram, our ghosts. to good use. Deckard Kane, if you value your life, leave here immediately.
as a token of my gratitude. I will identify items for you at no charge. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon the world. As you know, some time ago Diablo was slain beneath Tristram, and when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. Yet, as the weeks passed, our hero became increasingly aloof. He kept his distance from the rest of the townsfolk, and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. I thought that perhaps his ordeal had been so disturbing that he simply could not put it out of his mind. The hero seemed more tormented every passing day. I remember he awoke many times, screaming in the night, always something about the East. One day he simply left, and shortly thereafter Tristram was attacked by legions of foul demons. Many were slain, and the demons left me to die in that cursed cage. I believe now that Tristram's hero was that dark wanderer who passed this way before the monastery fell. I fear even worse, my friend. I fear that Diablo has taken possession of the hero who sought to slay him. If true, Diablo will become more powerful than ever before. You must stop him or all will be lost. <laughs>